Max Martin is a super producer when it comes to music. He's done songs with almost every top artist from Katy Perry to Chris Daughtry, Nicki Minaj, everyone. And recently I've been on a binge of his songs since I found a Max Martin Spotify playlist. And as I'm listening to it, I have been deconstructing the way that he thinks about producing songs, and I'm trying to learn music producing through that. Most of that's been happening in the car on long drives. And in this video, I wanna share my insights, kind of like a selling breakdown on Max Martin. Keep in mind, most of these were posted in Instagram story form first, so please disregard the fact that it's filmed vertically. This is interesting. So for great art or for great business or for anything, it really comes down to what are you willing to not have credit for? And it's the same in movies and it's the same in business. The company trumps everything. The creation trumps everything. I just listened to the song Swish Swish. Swish Swish Bish. Another one in the basket. And it's like a masterclass in Max Martin producing. The Katy Perry track is garbage. The chorus doesn't really make any sense. Then Nicki Minaj comes in with like three different versions of her verse. Pink Ferragamo sliders on deck. Silly rap beast, just give me more checks. My life is a movie, I'm never offset. And saves it, basically. And that song is what Max Martin does perfect which is let his artist be artist. That seems like the mark of a great producer. Somebody who's able to frame the artist in such a way that they shine the best and then add those little flourishes to make it more accessible or make it better. I've listened to a lot of these Max Martin tracks now and it's clear that he works best when he has a strong songwriter somewhere on the team. So this is Can't Get Enough by Becky G. Becky G, if you wanna look that up on Spotify. I love this song by Max Martin because it is clearly the my parents bought me a song starter pack. You've got the cheap verse by the Pitbull knockoff halfway through the song. Then the real Pitbull comes in. The thing that this highlights is Max Martin can be bought. According to Ryan Holiday's book, Perennial Seller, Max Martin puts all of his songs through what he calls the Pacific Coast Highway Test, which means he speeds down the Pacific Coast Highway and he blasts the music and makes sure it feels good there. By the way, I love this about music producers. So the super producers, let's say Max Martin, uh, Rick Rubin, any of those guys, they don't do albums for their artists. <laughs> they'll only work on like one song and then they'll put everything into that song then the artist just does whatever they want for the rest of the time. If you know somebody that would get immense value from this video, maybe they're a music producer, maybe they're a musician, I would love if you could send it their way. Also, if you want advice from me in a one-on-one -on -one setting, that's over at experiment27.com slash consult. And if you have a business book and want it turned into a documentary, you can check us out at loreliapictures.com. I'm Alex Berman. Thanks.